Today, we are talking about five accessories that Subaru owners swear by. These are things that I not only have on my Subaru, but things that many other people have on theirs as well. So if you're new to Subaru, maybe you're not familiar with all the ins and outs on what you can get optioned on these cars. Today, I'm gonna share with you what you can get and why Subaru owners get them. We're gonna show why these are so popular as well as why you are going to want to have them for your car yourself. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I share weekly videos all on Subaru related content. So if you wanna follow along, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And I'm making this video here on my off day. Usually I'm on at the car dealership selling Subarus. So if you appreciate the time and effort it takes to put these videos together for you guys and show you all the cool things, the ins and outs on these cars, please remember to click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. The first accessory I wanna show you all is probably the number one requested. I think most videos probably don't start off that way, but all these accessories today are gonna to be popular options. But the number one is going to be your all weather floor liners. Don't mind the mess here. This is a car we daily drive, my wife and I, so this gives you a realistic idea of what to expect with having a Subaru that is daily used. And so we have quite a bit of junk down here in the floorboard. You have carpet underneath here, and uh, it's, you know, fairly clean for the most part. We need to vacuum this up, but the nice thing is that both on the front and the rear, you can pull these out try to do this with one hand without spilling much in the bottom, but you can pull it out, you know, vacuum this up and take a hose and just wash it off before you throw it back in. Now, the nice thing about this is that it has these walls to the liner, so that keeps things contained. So if you were to accidentally spill something in your floorboard, whether it be water, coffee, tea, something like that, or you have children and maybe you get some residual crumbs back here, from them eating something in the car, it's nice that it keeps it contained. And it's a much better alternative to the carpet mats that come standard with your Subaru that oftentimes get lost or left behind in your garage somewhere, never to be used, and may be thrown back in the car whenever you go sell it or trade it in later. If you're curious about what the front looks like, they also have the liner here. The front driver actually has these little holes here that keep the mat in place so it's not sliding up. And on the back side of the mats, they have these little spikes there to keep it in, gripped into the carpet. So it's not at risk of moving around. By the way, I've seen this rarely, but sometimes I'll see somebody have a carpet mat down below here, and then they put these on top. You do not wanna do that. You just wanna put the all weather liner directly on your factory floor. You don't wanna have those extra carpet mats down there because that would run the risk of getting caught on the pedals or just not fitting in there properly. If you have a wilderness trim level, the Forester, Crosstrek, or the Outback Wilderness, those will all have the all-weather floor liner standard. If you have another Subaru, unfortunately, the all-weather liners, like my Onyx here, are optional and you have to get them added later. But the other cool thing, if you're buying a Subaru nowadays off of a dealership's lot, very likely it's going to have those all-weather liners already in them because dealerships will accessorize their Subarus on the lot with popular options, and those are the most popular. Number two is gonna be similar to the all-weather floor liners, and that's gonna be back here on the back of your seats. If you do a quick Google search, it says about 70% of Subaru owners own pets, and that makes sense for this next accessory we're gonna be talking about, the rear seat back protectors. So typically on the back of your Subaru, you're gonna have this felt carpeted-like material that dog hair just loves to get stuck to. If you have a dog, you know the pain. Now, if you have any of our five-seater SUVs or even the Subaru Ascent with a third row back here, you can get a second and third row rear seat back protector. So that's what they call it, the rear seat back protector. It Velcros on and straps around the headrest. As you can see, it's actually really clean. I've, I've never vacuumed the back of this in the two and a half years that we've had this car. And we have a short haired pointer that hair just gets everywhere. I mean, you can see it a little bit over here. They do, by the way, make liners here that Velcro to this as well. I just had an option mine with it. That might be something we add later. And all of your Subarus nowadays, for the most part, come standard with this all-weather liner back here, at least for the Outback. Now, some of your other models may not have it standard. You have to get the, what they call a cargo tray separate, but 
it's along those same lines with the all weather liners and something that especially if you have pets you're going to want to have because just look at all the dirt and debris that has been collected on here that otherwise would be into our carpet something cool that the outback and only some of the higher trim foresters have are these quick release levers that drop that second row one of my favorite features on the Subaru Outback. So this is nice because whenever our dog hops up here and she's up here on the back of the seat, using it as a platform or a bed, it's not getting hair and dirt on the back of it. So really nice, keeps it clean where otherwise it would get really dirty. Number three on our list is going to be this Subaru cargo net. Now the really unique thing about this that not many people are aware of, and I didn't actually know about it at first either, is that there's two cargo nets in one so whenever you buy this you get two in one from subaru there's one on the top right here and then there's one on the back side that you can unzip right there now with the front this is what it looks like you just simply take these and hook them into place so the front straps around on these mounting points there just like that what's really cool about this is that it keeps things contained whenever you are opening your power rear gate so if you have this loaded up to the brim all the way to the window maybe and you go to open it sometimes things might fall out unless you have this cargo net there keeping things from falling out and something else really cool if you have valuables that you you don't want getting thrown around the car you can put them inside this little pocket here to keep it safe the net on the back side looks like this and whenever you use it you can strap things directly to the cargo floor again to keep them from getting moved around when you're traveling so overall a pretty unique design from subaru something that i think is well worth the investment to have this cargo net over some of the competition that's out there. Number four is an easy one to overlook and that is your rear bumper cover. And that's because this blends in with the plastic cladding that is on most Subaru bumpers. Now, not every Subaru has a painted bumper right here. Some of your wilderness trim lines and even older generations have the matte black cladding on it. And in that case, you actually don't need this rear bumper cover, but for about 90% of other Subarus now today, you're going to want this. And that's because the top part of this is painted. And whenever you are loading things in and out of the car, maybe you're dragging that tent out or your pet's crate or bikes, mulch, anything that might brush across the top of this, it's going to scratch. For us primarily, whenever our dog jumps into the back of the hatch, she a lot of times will end up using this as a step to get in and out of the car. So without that, her paws would be scratching this up. So something that is worthwhile to have if you are worried about your paint getting scratched back here. I'm gonna have one additional bonus accessory for you all. It's one of the most recent ones that I bought for my Subaru and something that we've used all summer. But before we get to that, we're gonna talk about the trailer hitch. So this is the two inch receiver for the Subaru Outback. It's the OEM receiver. And there's some reasons why you may wanna get this over the competition. One is going to be your warranty, of course. It's nice to know that this product is installed by Subaru or your retailer, so it's gonna be covered under warranty when that happens. Also, it's going to be designed to fit the car perfect. So whenever you look at ground clearance, which a lot of people are concerned with, whenever you are hauling, maybe you're going on the trails or dirt roads, whatever it might be, you don't want that bottom to clip. So this is gonna have, it's not gonna sacrifice any of your Subaru's ground clearance. Additionally, as far as I know, the Subaru trailer hitch is the only one that has been crash test rated. And this actually adds structural integrity to your Subaru. I can't speak for the aftermarket products, but I don't believe any of them have been crash test rated with your Subaru. And you get this cool little rubberized Subaru cap that goes into place whenever you're not using it. So it doesn't look ugly when it's not in place. And then you also have the four pin harness for the Outback and all of our other Subaru models. Now, whenever you get a Subaru Ascent, that one has additional towing capabilities. So not only will you have the four pin, but you'll also have a seven round harness as well for your trailer braking. And last but not least, we have my Thule bike rack. This is the T2 Pro XTR. If you're curious, the XTR gets these fancy little wheels that make it easy to roll around on the ground to load and unload. It can easily be installed by one person, although it is very heavy, so it's easier with two. And then additionally, loading on bikes takes like 10 seconds. So really easy to put on, use, it's really sturdy. Of course, you can use it folded up like this whenever your bikes are not on it. And then whenever you need to lower it down, 
you can do that. And it even breaks away to be able to open your hatch without having to take your bikes off. It has a wedge system that keeps this in the receiver. And then there's even a pin, a safety pin that locks into place as well for additional measure in case that wedge somehow got loose. The other nice thing about this bike rack is that it has a built-in locking system to keep your bikes somewhat safe whenever you're at stops. I wouldn't personally leave my bike on this overnight, but if I'm stopping off to get food somewhere while traveling or getting gas, I'm not worried about somebody taking my bike off. Now, the reason why I say it's somewhat safe is because somebody technically could take some wire cutters, some strong wire cutters to clip these. So they're not 100% theft deterrent, but they're definitely better than not having a lock at all. I hope you all enjoyed this list of five accessories. If you're curious about maybe the one accessory that I do regret buying, then click on the YouTube card above to the right where I talk all details on that. I'll also include a link in the show notes for an entire in-depth video that I made on that Thule bike rack if you're interested. I hope you all have a great day. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to click the like button, comment below with any questions you may have. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.